Hey guys, Stan the Medic, welcome to the channel. Today I'm here in Chinatown Plaza in Las Vegas where, you know, I come across this place over here called Yummy Boy Cafe. Now, that is a hell of a name. You know what I mean? Like, nothing wrong with that nowadays. Yeah, check it out. Oh wait, wait. It's Yummy Box. They need to rethink the placement of that sign, guys. All right, so Yummy Box Cafe. Where is such Yummy Box Cafe? I guess it's this way. Then again, I wouldn't know. Maybe it's this way. Oh, look at this. They got these like cute pillow type things. Wow. I don't know, it's kind of making me sad. It's like they're all like locked in this box, waiting to be freed. All right. Oh look, you got a chef. What's he looking at? Ah, here it is. Yummy. Now they made it even harder to see. Now it's yummy. Oh my goodness. Look what they did over here, guys. But anyway, let's get something to eat. All right, guys. I am now seated at Yummy Box Cafe. Now, I got a menu. And uh, it looks like it was typed up in Word Perfect. You guys remember Word Perfect? It is before Microsoft Word. It looks like that, guys. But I'll show you the menu. And strangely enough, there's a phone number written here. And I don't know what it's for. It's very suspicious. Guys, you call this up, you tell me what it says, and uh, put it in the comments below. Huh? I'm sorry, I only do English. Okay, what do you want today? Oh, I don't know yet. I'm still looking at the menu. Uh, do you want a little bit of time? Oh, sure. What's, what's the your popular thing here? It's a popular one? Okay. The popular one is steamed pork buns. This is a popular one. one. And also you can... Um, oh, steamed pork buns? Yes. And also, also you can have the Chinese donut. And also the great onion pancake. Hmm. And the other one, if you want some noodle, the class beef noodle, or if you want a spicy flavor, we have the spicy one. I and see. The Phantom box is really popular too. Oh. Okay, so the the steamed pork buns. Okay. The, uh, I'll take one of those. Okay. Yeah. Just steamed pork buns. Yeah, just that for now. Yeah. Do you have a cup of water? Uh, yes. We have, do you want the ice water? Yeah, ice okay. water. Ice water. The free okay. one, right? Yeah. That's okay. The free one, of okay. Thanks. Right. Thank you so much. Mm. The thing is, I would have missed it if they, if she wouldn't have said it, right? Now over here, number sixteen, it says steamed pork buns. Now I easily missed that i looked it over i didn't recognize it but if you look at the chinese characters it says xiaolong bao right which is like you know you gotta say steamed pork soup dumplings right major difference like steamed pork buns is like other stuff so wow i'm glad she came and she had nice ink you missed it but she has some really good ink And over here, number five, is a soup that I will not be getting. Pickled cabbage, pig blood soup. Dude, dude. No, I mean, I understand. Other cultures got different ways, you know? And it's okay to be, you know, doing things different from what other people do. You know, nowadays, it's all okay, you know? As long as you don't hurt anybody and it's within the law, 
You know what I mean? Or if it is against the law, it's up to you to change the law if it doesn't hurt anybody. You know, so I'm, I'm all for like people's freedoms and, and everything like that. You know, you do what you want to do. You know what I mean? It's your, it's your life. But, you know, I am me. So I will not be doing the pickled cabbage, pig blood soup. I could just imagine how they make it, you know. They go like this, hey Porky Pig, come here, come here. Right, Porky Pig goes, what, what, what? Oh my God, poor Porky Pig. I think I should edit this part out of the video. Oh, here it is. Nice ink, by the way. No worries. Enjoy. Okay. All right. Let's take a look. Well, guys, there are eight of them in here. Let's see how they are. Now, it came with some sauce, guys. It smells like soy sauce. It tastes like soy sauce. Here's my 70% full cup of water. And um, got myself some chopsticks here. And I need a spoon to eat this with, right? Because the soup's gonna spill out, right? May I have to call that number for the spoon. No oh, wait, I see a spoon out there, over there. So here we are, the Silong Bao from Yummy Boy Cafe. Hmm. You know what? Maybe they didn't call it soup dumpling for a reason. Because. Yeah. I see. Yeah, I guess this is the uh, non-soup version. I didn't know these existed. It's pretty good, guys. I'll eat two more of these and I'll tell you what I think. Alright, so this is what I think of it, right? As a food, this, I'll give this an 8 out of 10. It's flavorful, it's tasty, it's well prepared, right? Now it is a little different from what I'm used to. I'm used to having the ones with the soup in them. You know what I mean? Silong bao usually have soup in them. I never had one dry like this, but hey, if this is the way they, you know, they make it here, there's nothing wrong with being different. Alright, after all, you know, like, you gotta trust a place like this when it comes to stuff like this because, you know, it's gotta be the real deal. After all, they got pickled cabbage, pig blood soup. So you know this is the real stuff, you know, like from the, from the mainland, ancient times and whatever, you know, yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. Mm.